So I've just finished putting this together and connecting it all up and I'll give you a quick look around it and um, we'll leave the setting up to the next video because otherwise this one's going to be way too long. So I've got a fairly new Hewlett Packard tower down there running the um, the system, the program. Now the program is EasyCAD 2, if you can see that, with all the glare. And uh, of course this is the, um, this is called a split fiber laser system. The main fiber laser generator is in here. Um, which has a umbilical cord, and this is where all the, you know, the actual fibers are, that comes through to this head, and this is uh, called a galvo head. Inside here, there's two mirrors, um, two ultra light uh, mirrors, so they can actually move very, very fast, like. Uh, I suppose like bees wings as it were what they call low mass operation so they can they can actually move and uh, they're, they're just a blur you wouldn't be able to see them and of course this is the table that uh, where you uh, you can either place or affix um, your materials um, now these Fiber lasers do produce um, some, uh, shall we say, smoke or whatever, especially if it, you know if there's paint or coating on metal, it's going to burn off. So you don't want to breathe that. So I have this extraction system. Um, it's actually venting outside, which I don't particularly like doing. But uh, in a few weeks from now, I'm going to show you how to make your own active carbon filter because they're extremely expensive to buy from the manufacturers. Um, but this system just has a, a gentle, well quite, quite a good flow of air actually and I can open this uh, to get more flow but normally I just require this vent here. Um, so there you go, it's a very very simple looking system but um, it is vastly more complex than a CO2 laser. You will see if you look around for fibre lasers, uh, this is a, a split type, uh, I think that's self-explanatory. The you know, the working mechanism end here is separated from the main fiber laser generator, which is in there. Uh, and it's connected via an umbilical cord where the fibers run. And it comes to this head, which is called a galvo head. Inside here, there's two, shall we say, ultra light or low mass. Uh, mirrors, one for the X, one for the Y, um, they can actually move so quickly that if you could see them moving, it would just be a blur, like a bee's wings. Okay, or actually faster than a bee's wings. So that is how the beam is directed uh, anywhere in its field of view. The particular lens I have in here now is a 200 millimeter field of view, which in other words, you have a footprint of 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters, which is eight inches by eight inches square. And you can do anything within that area. Uh, I do have 110 millimeter field of view lens come in because I did order it but they did they negated to put it in so I put that right and it's on the way now what that does is it narrows the field of view down to four inches by four inches but that in turn just by changing the lens increases the power by a factor of four 
Okay, so you're concentrating all that energy that's coming through the laser, right, into an area one fourth the size of what it is at the moment. And actually, <laughs> in the footprint that it is now, it's very, very powerful. Now, you may get a little confused when you see, oh, 30 watt fiber laser. And you probably, and you're probably got thinking, well, that's not very much. Well, inside, inside this unit here, the fiber laser unit, there is multiple uh, diode lasers. Now they're not the type of lasers, diode lasers that you'll get on a you know a small on a, on a small type of um, little diode laser one that you can you know purchase. These are really really special. Uh, and there are multiple in there. There is between 6 and 12 separate uh, and then there's one singular one which is larger again okay which is like the seed laser and in built inside there there is an amplifier as well a laser amplifier okay it's quite complex but in the future, I'll make, try and make it a little easier for you. So, by the time the laser comes out here, and it's very adjustable, you can have a peak power of laser power of about 24 kilowatts. That is how it can etch away gold, if you want to. Gold, silver, any metal that uh, you want to put in there it'll engrave in it and well it'll cut it as well but you don't really use these type of fiber lasers for strictly cutting so not only will a fiber laser engrave into metal um, they're not st strictly supposed to engrave into organic matters like wood and things like that but you can actually make them do it. Um, I've got a full extraction system here as well because um, if you have a material with paint on or it's coated with um, you know Teflon or whatever uh, I mean this is going to burn it straight off and you don't want to breathe that in so I have an extraction system. Okay so that's the unboxing and setting up on the, the bench here that's a fairly simple process it's just really a, a USB cable and uh, a power cable into the, the laser and uh, just getting the program into the computer there's um, a few little special things with uh, the program too uh, but we'll we'll sort all that out in the next video and um, the next video we will tune this lens into the program and indeed set the program up to this fiber laser because it's just a raw program at the moment. So uh, thank you for joining me for this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please press like and subscribe. I hope to see you back for the next video. So bye.